I'm going to go to Jake Paul's house. And I'm going to show you how you should actually go about it. Hi, I'm Ryan and my life is average. Now I'm on social media a lot and a lot of times you guys are messaging me different YouTube links and articles and things to chat about in videos. If Jacob Sartorius combs his hair a different way, you guys tell me. So that's great and I appreciate that. But recently I got a ton of different messages talking about a girl named Nicolette Gray who was making videos going to YouTubers' houses. And you guys were sending me links of her like going to YouTubers' houses. And at first I was like, okay, like, I mean, it's a house. So I figured that the video would be like her driving by and that's fine, whatever. That wasn't the case. There are now videos and trends of people going to different YouTubers' houses, not just going, like stalking out front and then knocking on the door and that's what? What is happening? And I couldn't believe that this was an actual thing and they were getting hundreds of thousands of views and I, I just, I don't know if the videos are gone because I, I can only find a couple that were deleted but this is an actual thing that is happening now and there were different YouTubers. Uh, it was Jake Paul, Logan Paul, how many other Pauls there are. Then there was like uh, Claudia Soliski. Um, like what is, why is this a thing? This is, this is where YouTube is going. It's at the point now where people are so hungry for YouTuber content that they're like, you know what? Fuck their videos, go to their house. And I mean, just honestly, take a look for yourself in this video. I'm gonna play like five or six different clips back to back to back from the video to highlight what I'm talking about when this girl just goes to Jake Paul's house and it's really creepy. So we're we're going off a drone picture and we just passed that pink wall. Now we are going, going straight. straight. Oh, we're turning on the street. That's Jake Paul's house. Riley, do we knock on the door? I don't know. That's his house. There's a fucking trampoline in the front. We don't know what to do. That's Tessa right there. Shut Tessa's up. in the Shut room. Up. Shut up. Tessa's in the room. What the fuck do we do? She's home. What do we do? She just picked up a blanket from her bed and then just like went. That's his car right there. The gate's open. Let's go inside. Let's jump on his trampoline. <laughs> It says push button to call. Should we call? Like, I'm not lying. Like, fuck, man. I'm getting over my fear and knocking on the door. Like, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even trying to think. I'm. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Oh, oh, I'm vlogging. I just wanted to, like, say hi. I... Do you have the fence? No, it's, it's open. It's, like, wide open. Oh. As you can see in that video, her and her friend, who look, I, they are probably very nice people. They're young, I'm gonna say they're probably 15, 16, 17 years old. I get it, okay? I never stalked people's houses when I was a kid, but that's fine. I'm, like I said, whatever. But I really don't condone this, and I really hope that this trend goes away, and hopefully that people just can understand to not do that because there's such a thing as privacy. And yes, if someone has a house and it's public, I, I get it. Maybe he doesn't have a huge front yard with a fence, but like respect the privacy. Maybe you can drive by it real quick. Like people do with celebrities homes and stuff on tours, but like, I don't know. I just think that it's crazy that YouTube is getting to this point where YouTubers houses are becoming a focal point of people not only going by them, but stalking out front. I mean, there was a video in the clip where there's like 30 people trying to find their houses, like with things and gifts and oh my Lord. And as you saw in the one part, Jake Paul's, I guess, girlfriend at the time was in the bedroom window and they were like commentating on like her getting a blanket and I, I mean, that's just too much. Like that is so fucking weird to me that this is a thing that is happening. When I started YouTube in 2008, I it couldn't even get someone to look at me if I fell down the damn stairs while wearing a Spider-Man costume. Now, YouTube is getting so big that these people have people stalking the front of their houses for hours and hours and a million plus people are viewing these videos. And I, I can't even get 15,000 views. So you know what? Maybe I have to go to Jake Paul's house. Is that what it takes, people? Okay, because I'm not too far from him. I don't live too far from him. Okay. Let's see how this, you know what? I'm not condoning this, okay? I'm not, uh, this is a fair warning, but I know Jake, okay? I, me and him have been friends for some time. I'm going to go to Jake Paul's house and I'm going to show you how you should actually go about it and not like the way a lot of these people are doing. Cause by the way, it's not just her. I've found like four or five other videos of people going to Jake Paul's house and putting his house up for sale. Like type in Jake Paul for sale. There's like 10 videos of people 
putting his house up for sale. What? What is? What in the world is that? Why would you want to put someone's house up for sale? It's so weird. The internet is so weird. So I'm going to go to Jake Paul's house myself and see if I can figure out what is going on and maybe we could chat with him and we can see what happens. Hello? Jake! What's up, man? How are you? Yeah, uh, what's up, man? Who are you? Very funny. <laughs> Who am I? It's Ryan. Ryan Abe? Come on. Can I come in? Oh, I'm inside. Oh, I got inside. <laughs> I was on YouTube, right? And I saw that people were putting your house up for sale, and then they were, like, going to your door and, like, knocking and you were answering. So I figured that, I, you know, I'd, I'd walk on over and, you know, I would, hey, say what's up. Yeah, listen, man, I'm not trying to be rude or disrespectful. I just, like, I don't know who you are. I don't, I don't know any rhymes. Like, where exactly did you walk from? Uh, well, where did I walk from? Um, not like Jer uh, New Jersey. You walked from New Jersey to California, like just to go to my house? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. You know, times are hard and I need the views and I'm getting desperate. And so I figured, you know, hey, it was worth a try. So here I am. Also, do you think it's like creepy that people are showing up to your house uninvited with random gifts at 12 at night? Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, I think it's very creepy. It's very, very, very creepy. I agree. Yes, I, I, that's what I was saying. I was telling my friends, but I think it's creepy, so. By the way, you have a huge door. I mean, I've never seen a door that big. Where do you, where do you get a door that big? I can't, you know, Lowe's? Big doors are us? I don't. That's a big door, Jake. It was it was here. I didn't I didn't buy the door. It was just it was like a part of the house when I got it. So hey, can I sit in your Ferrari? No. All right. Well, I don't want to take up too much of your time. So uh, thanks for saying. Oh, by the way, there's something over there. Come on, man. Okay, did you really expect me to go to Jake Paul's house? I just made a whole little rant about how ridiculous it is and how you need to respect people's privacy. And that's what happens, but that's how it would go. That's how it goes most of the time. It's very weird conversations. It's very bizarre. It's not good. Please, just go to the movies. Logan was good. See, you can see Get Out. That's a great movie. It's low budget. Maybe learn how to cook a T-bone steak. There's so many other things that you can do instead of, of that. Because that's not, that's not where we want to go with this. Please, let's, let's just kill this trend. Let's officially put an end to it. No one go to anybody's houses anymore. Don't be sending them pineapples. Don't be putting cookies on their lawn. Go for a walk or something. You know, anything. Walk a dog. Walk 10 dogs. How about that? A lot of these YouTubers do live extraordinary lives and they do have big houses, but that does not mean that you have the right to just go and stalk them. And I know, once again, you, you can do whatever you want. And if they have a public house, that's great. But. Please respect people's privacy. And I know a lot of the people that are doing this, like that Nicolette girl, obviously harmless, not trying to do anything mean, but like, it just, it, it gives a message to other creepy people out there. Nicolette or whoever made these videos may not be creepy at all. Might be a very sweet person. Just wanted to even give like a, a can of coffee or something. Maybe Jake Paul loves coffee. Okay, great. But then it opens the door for people watching like, oh my God, like, I can just go to a YouTuber's house. Some creepy dude out there might go to a YouTube girl's house. Some creepy guy might go to a YouTuber's house that they watch and, and something might happen. That is the fear that comes from this stuff. When you have videos of people opening their door like Jake Paul did and almost welcoming like, hey, what's up? Hey, thanks for coming to my house. That's not good because it makes it seem like that's okay for other people who have very bad intentions or weird intentions or intentions that aren't so pure and i'm not saying jake paul or logan paul did that on purpose they're nice people and they're just answering their door because people answer the door but i just think that that should stop <laughs> And I don't want to see this get out of hand, and I don't want to see any YouTubers or any Viners or Snapchat people, anything, whatever they are. I don't want to see them get hurt, and I don't want to see fans get hurt or in trouble in the process. So if you want to go to a YouTuber's house, just don't. Just, like, create it in The Sims. There you go. That's kind of creepy, but it way less creepy than actually being in person. You can even make Jake Paul say, Marshuno, and run around, like, with the little chicken symbol over his head because he's hungry. 
Feed him all the fake chicken you want. But please, let's just chill on that. But that's it for me. Make sure to subscribe if you're new here. Like and comment some things that you've seen on the internet that you want me to talk about. Trends, videos, whatever. And I will discuss them and rant about them. And that's that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys right here next week. And... And hey, stay average. Like and subscribe. Uh, smash that like button. You better, you better smash that.